The F-35 Training Center here at Eglin Air Force Base encompasses Air Force, Marine, and Navy training for all of the maintainers on this airframe. We teach everything from weapons loading, tire changes, strut changes, and that's done here out in our hangar and all the trainers that you see behind me. We also have classroom environments where it's teacher to student. We also have somewhat of a digital simulated environment where students sit behind computers in somewhat of a video game simulator to where they can learn the job. But if there are mistakes or mishaps to happen, instead of that airman getting hurt or damaging component, we catch those mistakes, we correct them ahead of time, and then we press out here to the trainer where they would go on to their following duty station and press with their mains. So upon uh, our trainees graduating Air Force basic training, they arrive at the 82nd, right? They go to Shepard Air Force Base. From there, they learn the fundamentals of being a maintainer. And that's not just what we teach here at the schoolhouse, that's also LO and our sister components at the detachment in Pensacola. So while Shepard does have a few uh, foreign partners there, this schoolhouse encompasses just a plethora of different countries that we see here. And it exposes our airmen to work alongside themselves as the Air Force, but also bond with those other countries. Everybody has to come here. This is the powerhouse of the F-35 training, right? So if everybody's taught in the same place and we're able to establish a standard here, when they disperse and get to where they need to go, everybody was taught the same set of skills at the same standard. Becoming an Air Force maintainer is not an easy job. You're gonna have times where you're soaking wet. You're gonna have jet fuel on you. You're gonna work those long hours, but it's fulfilling. Seeing that aircraft take off, seeing all the hard work that you put into it, that you as an individual, alongside your team, made that aircraft mission capable, putting that pilot in the seat and seeing that take off. It's eye-opening, but it is very, very fulfilling. And knowing that that aircraft and that pilot is going to go out and serve and protect our country, very fulfilling.